Here we are, April 3, 2015. We're going to run a sample of uh, cow rose, medium grain rice, 2014 crop. First thing we're going to do is we're going to screen it up, screen it to remove the uh, large waste that may be in there, typically straw, as well as fine waste material. That would be broken as well as empty kernels, normally. As you can see, there's virtually no, very little, long waste in this product. Then, from the patty rice, this is the composition of the material. Very little, again, by percentage, for what we have uh, removed. We're now going to weigh out a 100 gram sample to run through the uh, PAZ1 uh, mill. Then we're going to evaluate both uh, whole rice and head rice. Following that, we're going to get an evaluation on the whiteness meter for the degree of, of brand removal that we have achieved. Okay, 100 grams. We're going to load the machine. Hopper. The inlet hopper as an adjustment, so we determine the rate of flow into the machine. We have an adjustment for the pressure here of the uh, brakes to determine how aggressively we're going to uh, remove the husk. Our calibration here <coughs> is about brake pressure uh, for the patty against the rotary stone where we're going to whiten and remove the bran. Uh, white rice will deposit, be deposited in this uh, receptacle. Um, brand material will be collected here that goes through the perforated screen that surrounds the uh, whitener, as well as bran and husk collection by air over here to keep the machine clean and a good working environment. We will then show you the uh, length separation that we achieve uh, utilizing the uh, whole rice uh, to determine the percentage of head rice. Uh, we have our timer set for 75 seconds and it will give us a buzzer indication of the 15 seconds that we optimize the flow of the all the 100 gram sample through the husking chamber after 75 seconds, we'll get an indicator, another alarm, uh, that'll allow us to uh, empty and clean out the uh, whiteness chamber completely, and then we're going to run the second step. Here is the whole rice sample. We're going to weigh it to get our percentages of 100. So that's 71 grams of whole rice, 72 grams as a stabilized, 72 grams of whole rice. We're going to then take that and run the indented cylinder separator to take out the brokens. taken 
now through the perforated screens of the whitener. This chamber is where the husk and brand are collected. The small kernels are fitted to fit into the pocket are lifted. It's a collection chamber in the interior that will hold the broken kernels that we take away from the head rice. Now we're ready to measure the sample to determine our head rice yield. So there you are. Our head rice yield now is 69. Can look at this material and see it has some chalk that's inherent in the uh, variety and the harvest. We're going to examine it closely with the brokens that were removed and you can see the short waste material that was taken from the whole rice. This is the composition of the husk and bran material. Now we're going to perform the whiteness test where we will insert this sample into the machine and it will give us three values. It will indicate the degree of whiteness or bran removed as well as a value for transparency, how translucent the kernel is, and polish, and how effectively we have polished and removed the scratch marks from the whitening process. There you have it, 40.6, 40, 40 is the international standard. Uh, anything over three um, uh, and anything close to 100 is a quite acceptable value for each of those um, indications. So there you have it, the uh, uh, test of the Calrose variety 2014 on the PAZ1 and MBZ2 uh, whiteness meter.